Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. This is the Creekside 19 MKS by Outdoors RV. I am a huge Outdoors RV fan. They make quality trailers, so well insulated, four season, all these great features on them. And I've been waiting for something just a little smaller, just a little lighter, half ton towable, and this is amazing. All right, listen carefully, because I'm gonna give you a list of things I love about this trailer before we even go in there. Again, half ton towable, it only weighs 6130. Now that is the Titanium series, which means it's got some decor upgrades and some extra features on it. This layout can be set up to sleep for adults, or you can set it up with two theater seats and the dinette. It has over 10 feet of kitchen counter space, fully usable when the slide out is in, so you don't have to worry about those times that maybe you're at Cracker Barrel and you don't want to put the slide out out. I don't know, so many great features about this. It is only 24 foot, one inch long, and that is tip to tip. So much to see in here. Let's go inside and get started. The first thing you'll notice in here is the space. Now this is not a big trailer, but it feels so open right here. I really appreciate trailers when the bathroom is in the back. And so this has all the width and all the height. Many of you know, I'm only five feet tall. So this ceiling feels huge to me. You know, in houses, they make the ceiling taller to make the space feel larger. And it certainly works in here. Six foot 11 on the crowned roof. Now the crowned roof is going to get slightly lower on the edges. I don't think you'll notice it when you're walking around if you happen to be much taller than I am. However, it gives it that nice kind of cathedral ceiling look and really opens up the space. That's huge. Now this ceiling is no different than what you'll find on all the other outdoors RVs. It's three inches thick, fully insulated. Have I mentioned this is a four season camper? I'm gonna bring that up as I go through. Let's start with one of the best features in this camper and that's the wall bed. Now you notice I didn't say Murphy bed and there's a couple of reasons for that. This folds up and down so differently than most beds that are called Murphy beds and it also has cabinets still above it. So this really kind of creates a wall. You've got the cabinets on both sides, but let me show you how easy it is to work. You start with this 90 inch dinette that easily seats four. And I love uh, the tabletop here. It is kind of a weathered wood look, and that is different if you don't have the titanium package. Jumping around a bit, but the titanium package is going to be kind of a decor upgrade and it also includes a few extra features. So I'm gonna be talking about that as we go through. Most manufacturers are going to put a sofa here, usually a jackknife sofa, so it's very easy to kind of lift the front and lay it down. Well, what they've done here is they have put the theater seating on the side, the dinette here, it is so simple to set up that you wouldn't mind putting it up and down, I bet, because really, it's that easy. Not having the sofa here and the dinette somewhere else gives you a lot more options, whether you keep the bed up or down. So, instead of having to wrangle a table, all you do is fold it up into the wall. Just lift this up, this folds down, and it clips right in here. Now that puts your table away really simple to do, right? And one of the things I wanna mention is this setup, having the full hinge across the bottom and the way this table leg is fully attached, when you are sitting at the dinette, there is none of that wobbliness on a pole or even two poles. It is very solid. The only other step is to lift up the wings on the dinette. Let me show you what I mean. Lift up the cushion and flip this piece out and put that cushion right back down. Now you're gonna do that on both sides. Again, very simple to do. Just takes a minute. I gotta find the edge of it, lift it out. Now these cushions are tight because they use really high quality foam. 
So you might have to give it a little push to fit it in there because nobody wants foam to deteriorate. The Outdoors RV people, they know this trailer is going to get some use, hopefully for many years to come. They want that foam to hold up just like the rest of the trailer. Now just unlatch the bed and it folds right down. We'll unclip it right here. It's an easy pull. And then this mattress is going to come right down and lay down. Just so easy to do. You can see that even with the bed down, these chairs are still very usable. And you have cabinets at the top, the reading lights. It's all ready to go. Let's look at what is behind here in all the cabinetry. I'm going to start over here. Now, one of the things that is maybe a little bit different in this bed is that you do have the seating right here. So you may need just a little knee up to come in to get to the cabinet, but you've got hanging uh, rod at the top, the hanging bar. So full space here. You guys already know you can put shelves there if you want, whatever works for your storage needs. Down below, you have the 12 volt, the USB chargers, the 110 plug, and the switch for the overhead lights. Really nice to have that right by the bed at night, right? On the right, there is a, a remote control for the power fan that's just above the bed. Let's take a look up above because these cabinets are only accessible when the bed is down. So you'll want to keep, you know, maybe some evening gear or something that you don't need to access every day during the day. Just pop open on the sides and you've got the full space all the way across. It is an angled front, but it's about 12 inches on the base of it. So that gives you an idea of how much storage is up there. Get these closed. Now these directional lights, they are additions that are here with the titanium series. If you happen to have the mountain series, you are going to have regular uh, lights at the top, but this is really nice if you like to read books in bed and it is adjustable where you get it off. You can get the backlight on it or you can get the full light on it. So it's all just done by a touch of the button. Very easy to do. And you also, in the titanium upgrade, which is what this trailer has, of course, you will get the light right here underneath the cabinet. That lights up this countertop. Now, speaking of countertop, you will see throughout this trailer, the countertop is upgraded to a solid surface. It's a little different than the Formica that you'll see in the Mountain Series. And really just a beautiful light colored look, opening up this space even more. All right. Let's take a look on the other side to be sure it's the same because over here you've got all the plugs but no light switch. So the only thing different is the light switch is only on one side. Any trailer is going to want as much storage as you can get, right? So there are drawers right under here underneath the dinette. It has the push button to lock and unlock them. And these drawers are about six inches deep, but they're fairly long. So you can fit quite a bit of gear in these and they are on both sides. Let's push that back in. Let's talk about this theater seating here because wow, again, so comfortable. You do have two cup holders, a little storage right here. And of course the foot rest. One thing I really like about this particular unit, the material that they use is much heavier than what you would find in some of the maybe less premium trailers. And that makes a difference because again, if you're looking at keeping a trailer for a long time, this material can get some wear and tear on it and then it needs to be replaced. I don't think you'll have that problem with these and talk about comfortable. Wow. Extremely comfortable. All right. We've got the TV right across from us. It just doesn't get any better than this. But let's look at the windows because this is a great place for me to show those to you. Uh, the windows here are all going to be frameless windows. That is a titanium upgrade. Um, and so they tip out like awnings. Why is that important? You get the breeze all the way across the window instead of just the half where the glass slides. Now, that's great if it's raining outside, you still get some air, you don't have to worry about the weather, and you have a roll down shade. So the roll down shade and this nice 
wood trim around the, all of the windows here is part of the titanium series. You do get a vinyl wrapped uh, space around the valance on the mountain series. It definitely works. This is just, again, a decor upgrade that looks beautiful. The same with the trim around the slide out. You get all wood around here, so it just gives it that extra look of quality. All right, let's walk directly across and take a look at this entertainment center. Now, you can't miss this Jensen 12 volt television. Great if you're off the grid, and so it does have a swivel so you could watch it in bed or you could watch it from the theater seating. Shelf here, really just nice for all those things you want to set down when you walk in the door. And another little cubby right here as well. The stereo that of course is Bluetooth is going to do all the things you expect right there and it has a CD DVD player in it. Down below, a nice light, the plug. I don't know, this is my coffee pot spot. I always pick one every time I come into a camper. And down below, you have really tight cabinet doors, by the way. They're not gonna come open going down the road. Two really nice shelves here, and then the drawers. The top one is a little bit smaller. It's only a couple of inches deep. The bottom ones are going to be about five to six inches deep and give you a little more depth in storing the things you might want right here. You know, one of the biggest features of having over 10 feet of counter space, you've got a lot of cabinetry. So we'll get to that in a minute. But over here on the side, you have a lot of control. So let's go there. Up top, you'll see this nice little remote. Let me see if I can pull it out for you. I mean, isn't this slick? This operates not only the slide out and the lights, but also the awning. So if you don't wanna come in and stand right here to operate all those things, eh, just put this in your pocket. It's great. So I'm gonna slip that right back into place here. Down below is the Zamp Solar Controller. This comes with a 190 watt solar panel on the roof and you can add two more 190 watt solar panels. That is a lot of solar. So if you need to work, outside of a campground and standard plug-ins. Great feature to have on this. All controlled right here. Let's look down below. Some standard things like the awning and the slide out switches that are right here. You will see the lights for the outdoor porch light and the ceiling lights here. Monitor panel, which of course is gonna monitor all of the tanks. You have a 60 gallon fresh, 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black. Down below, the water pump and the gas water heater and the electric water heater right here on the bottom. Fairly standard there. Now, uh, 12 volt uh, plug-ins right here. One's the standard cigarette lighter. The other one is the USB. Uh, down below that, you will have a switch that will be your fresh water tank heater. Now, it is a four season trailer, but if you're going down the road, you might need to carry some fresh water in freezing weather. That is gonna keep it from being damaged from the cold weather. It's not gonna freeze, just flip that switch. Of course, you can always put antifreeze in the gray and the black or keep them empty, which is preferable. All right, over here, this big panel here is a way to have a touch screen for this auto leveling system. This has an auto leveling system just like you would find on a diesel pusher. So by using that touch screen, you can come in here, re-level the trailer or level it for the first time. There's a second place to do that as well, and it is outside near the front of the trailer in the compartment. I'll show you that once we get that far. So you've got two spaces depending on what's most convenient for you. Let's keep going here on this really awesome kitchen. The Titanium Series is gonna upgrade these appliances from black to the stainless steel, which is a really nice look. Up here, of course, the microwave, the Veta hood with the light and the fan, just like you would expect, and glass backsplash, just a really cool look, but really useful because it's gonna clean so easily if anything gets on it. Behind here, you can see there is a knife holder. There is uh, six different slits here, and they really are useful. Slip those knives right in there. You don't have to use a drawer or your counter space. It doesn't take anything away from this stove, very easy to get to. If you need the counter space, of course this glass top cover can double as counter space. But when you're cooking, it just folds right up 
gets out of the way. The iron stovetop here easily removes to be cleaned. And you know, it feels very residential with this three burner cooktop. Lighted up dials here. This is the Suburban Elite oven, but it is the one that actually has the sparker on it. So you don't have to sit there and push the button the old fashioned way. It is gonna light itself. Just an extra feature here. And you know, maybe not as big as the oven you have at home, but very usable. Now let's continue on. I really like the farmhouse sink. These are heavy duty stove covers. It's not gonna move around on you. Let's lift this up and take a look. The large farmhouse sink comes with the grate underneath and residential style arched faucet with the pull out sprayer. Everything in here is something that probably you wouldn't mind having in your home. That is so nice that Outdoors RV does that. Slip these back in and once again, a great prep space if you are not uh, needing the sink at that particular moment. As this goes back, you notice some of it is right here next to the refrigerator. That is a space that I think is so valuable because maybe you have appliances that you use like maybe a Instapot, maybe that's your coffee pot space. But nevertheless, great storage, great place for those appliances to be light right on top. And you know, while we have this box nicely displayed here, uh, let's talk about this. There is a backup camera. Now that's kind of new for Outdoors RV, but that backup camera is part of this titanium package. Let's look at storage up above before we move down. And I mean, just huge pantry space right on top. It's over 12 inches deep, really tall, great for cereal boxes, any type of storage there that maybe has a bulk item and it goes around the corner so you can reach it all the way around. There aren't any dividers up here, so you're gonna have to make it suit whatever it is that you need. Down below, I love drawers, guys. Love the drawers that they put in this. The top one comes with the silverware sorter here. Again, it's like a two inch deep uh, drawer. And below that, you have two of the larger ones that are five to six inches deep. Drawers are the most efficient use of space when you're traveling, and that is why I always look for those in a quality trailer. Big cabinet here, it is the depth of the counter space. As always, you may have to work around a little bit of the piping, but not much. Really, a ton of space right here with a big drawer underneath that traditionally people use for pots and pans. This is probably eight inches deep, uh, really a nice space here and I really like that they put a lock on this drawer because you might have heavier things in there and if they shift while you're traveling you do not want this drawer to come open. One more cabinet right here. Now this is a tall cabinet. Uh, you might want to put some shelves in here or maybe some cookie sheets or uh, some extra cutting boards or maybe some grids that you want to grill on outside all kinds of different features could fit right in here in that tall space. You know, as I said earlier, you never want to waste an inch of storage. The refrigerator, beautiful wood on the front. You've got plenty of refrigerator space up top. And this is a gas electric refrigerator. Great space here. You notice you got some good door space. So that would be plenty of food to take care of you and maybe some visitors or somebody traveling with you. All right, let's move into the bathroom, take a look at those features. This bathroom has a sliding door. That is really nice use of space because it doesn't get in your way no matter what. Just clips out of your way behind the refrigerator. Brilliant design. Let's head in here. The same solid surface countertops that you saw in the kitchen are in here as well. Now that is part of the titanium package, just like the raised panel doors that you see in the bathroom and in the kitchen. The shaker style doors, it, they're just not quite as fancy. They're still good solid wood and the, you will find those on the mountain series. Again, some of the things in this titanium series are really just decor upgrades, but some of them are really useful. 
in here you've got this huge shower now you do step up just a few inches when you go inside it is still six foot six inches tall inside this shower and plenty of elbow room the upgrades in the titanium package are going to be the uh hardware in here so you'll see you've got this dark rubbed bronze look on all of these things it might be black i'm not sure either way it's stunning and you also get the upgraded vanity mirror now some of you may not care about that but for me really nice plus it is a standard mirror on one side and it is magnified on the other this solid surface countertop has an edge on it here which gives you more countertop space in case you want to leave things out in the bathroom undermount sink is really nice feature you don't have to worry about water splashing and cleaning it up real easy to wipe down the two shelves underneath again great storage there as well as right here in the medicine cabinet this is a little taller than some so you've got four shelves and hooks on the wall I know that sounds like a small thing, but it is great to have places to hang your towels or anything else you'd like to put here. There's even a small one down lower for probably a hand towel for when you're washing your hands. Porcelain toilet, again, another great upgrade. And you've got the vent fan in the roof. There are some switches right here. There is a water pump switch right here in the bathroom. So if your water pump isn't on, you came in here to take a shower, very easy to power it on and off right here. Then you also have the controls for the fan up there, that max air fan. That high powered fan is gonna ventilate it in here, which is particularly good for moisture. If you've got a lot of steam in here, you wanna get that out instead of have it go in the main cabin. And of course a light switch so pretty basic stuff right here all very convenient and really such a nice design remember this is only a 19 foot box total length 24 feet half ton towable great job outdoors rv now let's go outside there is so much more to see out there as we head outside i just want to remind you that when this slide out is in you still have a full hallway here, easy to access the kitchen, the refrigerator, the bathroom, and crawl into bed. You know, that is such a great feature. You could even hang out in the theater seating. All right, want to be sure that you've got a good handle on that? Let's go outside. Stepping outside, let's just talk about a few of the four season features on this trailer. The four season features include dual pane windows on literally every outdoors RV that's made. They have heated and enclosed tanks underneath. Now you may have seen that on other brands, but these are insulated as well. So they are really well heated and all of the poles, all of the tanks are included in that. They do just a great job at that. And the walls have two inch insulation on them. And you also have, remember that tank pad heater on your fresh water going down the road. All kinds of great features in this trailer for four season. Now, the Titanium series has a few upgrades on it and I've been showing them to you as we go along because I don't want anybody to get confused. The base model is gonna be a Mountain Series. This has got the Titanium Series upgrades. And if you wanna know exactly what's included in that, stay tuned. At the end of the video, we will roll a list of all those details for you. All right, so in the Titanium is the Lamalux 4000. That means this is a gel coat fiberglass. That gives it a little longer wear. It makes it a little glossier, easier to clean. A really nice upgrade that you'll see on high-end trailers or diesel pushers. Right here, let's start with the fill right here on the front. Now that is for that 60 gallon fresh water tank, water heater vent, and good place right here to see the suspension. This trailer has the off-road X4 suspension package. Now what that includes is the heavy duty shackles, the Moride suspension system, the CRE 3000, and the KYB shocks. And that will get you 
an extra three, four, five inches of travel when you go off road. Also included is going to be the Goodyear Endurance tires. They are 15 inch wheels. These are 10 ply E rated tires. So you've got the best going down the road. Moving on, 110 plug right here. Now you do have the barbecue connection right underneath here. So if you want to hook up your favorite grill out here, that connection is available for you. You don't want to waste any storage. So there is a little extra space back here. I'm sure you can find a way to use that, right? Okay, moving around to the back, it is a full walk on roof. We always encourage you to get up on your roof and double check those seals every six months, particularly if you're in Texas where we are. You know, today it is gonna get up to 107. That's pretty hot, that's tough on any trailer. You're gonna want a heavy duty ladder rack on the back to get up there and that is included here. You know, also in this titanium series is gonna be the backup camera on the top and the rear backup lights. That's super important because these rear backup lights are gonna light up behind you so you can see very clearly with that camera at night. Full size spare on the back, furnace outlet right here, and down below the receiver hitch, that has a capacity of 250 pounds. So many e-bikes out there, that is the main use we see them for. You may have others, but it can carry just about anything in that range that you need to take with you. Moving on right here, of course, that uh, 30 amp plug and the cable satellite connection right here on the back. The sewer hose connection is right down here. Now that's gonna be your gray and your black. There's a 40 gallon gray, 40 gallon black, and the handles are just above here. It's kind of an odd spot, but they wanted to enclose in that heated space, the slice valves that are gonna open and close that because it'd be terrible to have tanks that maybe didn't freeze, but the slice valves didn't allow you to open it. That is all included in there, which is why they run through this frame. Light right up here is gonna allow you to dump easily. If it's maybe before the sun comes up, possibly after it goes down, you know, you never know. That makes it very simple to do. And just above there, this is your outside shower, hot and cold. But I open this up because I wanna show you that these compartment doors are insulated. That's important. If you're in cold weather, the outside shower is one of the quickest things to freeze up on you and cause a leak, then your water system can't operate. Magnetic catches make it really simple to use. Black tank flush and the city water fill right here. All right, you might notice that this one has a slide out cover. That is standard on that titanium package. And right up front, if you look right under here, you're gonna see there is a pull also for dumping the fresh tank. If you have a 60 gallon fresh tank and maybe you have 20 gallons left in it when you get back, you're gonna wanna dump that tank and not leave it with that water in it. And that makes it very simple to do. This is also a great shot to see your leveling system. It is a one touch leveling system, so not difficult to operate and you are going to love the fact that it can level the trailer for you. Let's take a look at the storage right here. Oh, maybe I should point out these upgraded chrome handles, again, part of the titanium package. If you had the standard mountain package, these are gonna be black. This just adds a little bit of bling to your trailer. Let's open this up. Again, insulated doors here, so you're not gonna have trouble with this getting too cold in here. Uh, nice diamond plate rubber matted floor, and this goes all the way across for you. On the other side, you'll be able to see the controls for that one touch leveling. Now right here, there is space for two batteries. Uh, there is plenty of space here if you wanted to add a platform to put more, um, but two batteries fit here nicely, two propane tanks and the uh, electric jack. Right here, this is our XBON 360 power pack that we are powering the trailer with. I like to point out that does not come with the trailer. We are obviously outside and no access to electricity any other way. Now there is a package that's included on here with the receiver hitch and the toy lock. And that is the storage package. 
So that toy lock is going to allow you to maybe lock up a, a portable solar panel, something like that. Maybe your e-bikes when they're out here and you're going to sleep, anything like that. Very easy to use, light right here on the front. Now this is a diamond plate on the bottom and then you have a half cap on the top. You will see some of the other larger units are going to have a full cap. What's the difference? The difference is they wanted this to be half ton towable. Took some weight out right here by giving you a half cap and the diamond plate underneath. Now coming around, we are at the storage here on the end. Let's take a quick peek in here. Right here is the battery disconnect. You have a USB and the cigarette lighter type 12 volt charger and right above that the auto leveling switches so it's easy to get that leveled from here um, down below portable solar panel remember i mentioned that you've got a 190 watt solar panel you can add up to two more if you wanted to increase that power when you're off the grid what we haven't talked about is this awning again of course it's an electric awning it is just going to create such a nice outdoor space. Nice upgraded aluminum handle here. You've got aluminum steps. All of the best on this trailer. As you can tell, I am a huge fan of Outdoors RV. Not only do they build quality products, but they build them to last. If you're looking for something half ton towable, lightweight, not too big, very efficient use of space, take a look at this trailer. You're gonna love it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.